what we learned this week in the NBA. In honor of Martin Luther King Day, we did learn that at the center of violence lands a principle of love. Dreams do come true in the NBA, especially for young 23-year-old Tamiata Gaines. He was an unknown until Thursday when he was called up for the D-League to play with the Utah Jazz. With just four practices under his belt with the Utah Jazz, he was going to face none other than the top team in the East, the Cleveland Cavaliers. And boy, did he electrify that Utah Jazz crowd. In the final seconds of the game, with Darren Williams out because of a wrist injury, the onus was on the second unit of the Utah Jazz to perform to perfection. As the seconds ticked on the clock, the Utah Jazz moved the ball around the perimeter with a purpose, and it came to Sydney out of game who had Anthony Parker draped all over him. He went up for the pocket three and it was a switch and the crowd went crazy. And a talent was discovered when all he wanted to do was just provide some energy for the Utah Jazz. One reason why I love this game so much was that when Sunyata Gaines was called up from the D-League, he had to do one thing and that was step outside to put a smile on his mother's face and tell her how excited he was to be playing with professional athletes in the NBA. It's amazing what one play televised on national TV can do to Sunyata Gaines as he was signed up for a second 10-day contract. I hope that inspires not just ballers, but everyone out there to go out and pursue your dreams. I'm Pyle, and I will see you again inside the Purple Room.